Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos and today I'm going to be showing you how to place dental implants. If you can understand simple mechanics or if you've ever tapped a hole into metal, placed a drywall screw like this, then you're going to fully understand how something like this is placed. It's very easy to do if you understand the mechanics. I think this is why I really love implant dentistry is because I grew up working on cars, working with my hands, and dentistry allows me to do all of that and help people at the same time. Okay, now this is a surgical kit for placing an implant. It looks like a lot, but it's really no different than one of these, which I would assume a lot of you have used. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna be using my Landstrel first. These are in a series of sizes that slowly go up to six millimeters. This particular implant is a 3.9 millimeter by 10. So I have a 3.8 millimeter, or I'm sorry, 3.8 millimeter drill here. And I will be going up to the bottom of that dark line through the series of these drills to get to my implant depth. Now keep in mind that I want to countersink this implant by about a millimeter. So I'm gonna be going up to the top of that dark line right there on this 3.8 millimeter, knowing that it is a 3.9. Now if you look at the this implant, this next to it. Okay, there's a few key instruments I wanna show you here. This is the drill. This is what, imagine this as your drill for your, whether your impact or your rotary drill, whatever you're using to drill the holes. This is my surgical kit with a sequence of osteotomy burrs or drills. This is a mechanical torque wrench with the markings right here so I know how tight the implant is torquing to. And here we go. So I'm gonna start off with my first drill in the sequence. It's called a lance drill. It's just gonna help me get started here. So I put this on my drill. I'm running it at about 1800 RPM. I'm gonna be placing one up front here. You can see the ridge is slightly angled backwards. So I'm gonna make sure I'm running parallel to that so that it doesn't poke out the front. Okay, so here we go. All the time I get messages, oh my gosh, I must hurt, or how much do dental implants hurt? But in reality, they really don't hurt that much. The reason is, is because your bone, unlike your skin, doesn't have many nerve endings. Your nerve endings predominantly end in your skin, and that's why if you skin your elbow, you get poked with something sharp, it hurts. Now, if you were to do that directly on bone, you're not gonna feel it because you don't have those nerve endings like you do in your skin. Okay, so there's the first drill. Now I'm gonna go to my 2.0 millimeter. I know that this particular burr has a seven, eight and a half, 10, 11 and a half, 13, 15 millimeter markings. And that way I always know how deep I am because technically you're working blind, no different than drilling into something like a wall to make sure that I'm not going too deep or that I'm too shallow. Now I like to countersink my implant. So this particular implant is 10 millimeters long. And so what I do is I drill my osteotomy or the hole to be about 11 to 12 millimeters to sink that implant just below the bone level. Now I'm gonna be going 11 millimeters deep because I'm gonna be placing a 10 millimeter implant. So I'm gonna go, the bottom of this dark line is 10 millimeters. The top is 11 and a half. So I'm gonna go to the top of this 2.0 drill, this black mark so that I'm 11 and a half millimeters deep for my 10 millimeter implant. Now keep in mind there would be normally be water running at the same time. And you can see there it is, right? Let me pull this out. This bird goes exactly to the top of that dark mark. That way I know I am at the correct depth. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go from our 2.0 to our 2.5 millimeter drill. Go to depth. Okay, 
going on to the next size. Now keep in mind there's going to be a lot of water going on here and suctioning uh, to keep the heat down and to keep the debris that's being removed from the bone away from the site so I can see better. So again, I'm just all these burrs are, or these drills are marked the same. This is my 3-3. This is going to be my second to last drill. Gonna go to depth here. Okay, we're there. And now let's go to our final. Our final is 3.8 millimeters in diameter. We're gonna go to depth on this one as well. Now you can see on the model, you can see on this drill, this goes all the way down to the top of the black line. So I'm gonna back this out. And now we are going to tap the hole. I have a tap here, no different than the ones you guys have seen or used before. And this is going to screw down in to prepare the bone for the implant threads. Okay, so it goes down in like that. I can give it a little extra torque if needed. This particular tap is a 3.7, so I'm really only threading the bottom. Okay, once I feel it tight, See if I can back it out with my fingers. Sure can. And now it is time to place the implant. Okay, the implants come on these small green drivers like this. Like this, okay? And these green parts are removed. They're just helped put there to deliver the implant. So now I'm gonna place the implant. This goes on to here like, like that. And the implant is placed down into the bone. I need to switch my mode here on my drill so that it goes a lot slower. And here we go. So remember, I'm placing this one to one and a half millimeters below the bone level. There it is. I have a, what's called an auto torque. It's an electric torque wrench. That's gonna remove this green driver. Okay. And this goes down in, and there's a screw that's holding it into the implant. You can see it's moving at about 30 RPM, two to three Newton centimeters. And there is our dental implant placed into the model. Now, sometimes the implants don't go in all the way. So what we'll do is we will drive them in the rest of the way with the hand torque wrench. So let's do that. This will go on the torque wrench like so. And we torque it into our desired depth. And there it is. There's your dental implant. Now somebody like an elderly woman with osteoporosis is going to have very low density bone. I'm comparing it to something like drywall. Now a young male, big and strong, high density bone, they're gonna be more compared to something like wood. Plant, I'm gonna show you in upcoming videos what a really precise surgical guide looks like that I use when I'm threading the needle. I have a really tight space. All right, I hope that gave you guys further understanding on how dental implants are placed. You can see that there it is, about one millimeter below the level of the cork, exactly where I'd want it in the mouth. You go through a series of burrs, just like you would if you're drilling into something to place a screw, whether it be a drywall, wood, metal, you tap the hole, and then this is going to provide a really long lasting result. Like I said, this is why I really love implant dentistry. I grew up with my hands working doing stuff like this and immediately when I met dental implants I knew that this was going to be something I really really like. Now I just free handed that implant meaning I did not use a surgical guide. About half of my surgeries are guided because I'm usually really close in between the two teeth and I need it to go perfectly into a tight space. I'm going to demonstrate what a surgical guide that I use is like and how they're made, how they're fabricated, my process my order of operations on how I make them. I made a video previously about how I do it and kind of my, my planning that goes along with it. If this is some material you guys like, make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. 
This is my passion outside of cars. I really love this stuff. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure that you uh, ask me some questions if you have any because there's a lot that goes into planning and doing these implants and it's so much fun and it really doesn't have to be as complicated as some people may think it really is or painful for that matter. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you later.